A huge blow for the Tampa Bay Lightning with Andre Vasilevsky gone for at least the next two months. To discuss that, Brian Hayes and Frankie Corrado. So, now that he is out, here's the tandem right now for Tampa. Jonas Johansson, who's got 11 career wins in 35 games, as well as Hugo Olnefeld, since the he boss. was the he's got to be the boss. Yeah, you got, with the first name Hugo, you got to be the boss. He's in his three years since he's been drafted, 20 career minutes total in the NHL. The rest of the time spent in Sweden, the AHL, and the ECHL. Hazer, where do they go from here? Well, they better jump on the waiver wire or they start making calls. I mean, that's what they have to do. I love Hugo. It's a great handle. I don't see him driving them to the playoffs without Vasilevsky. This is, in my opinion, the best goalie in the world. Now, they've driven him into the ground, haven't they, Frankie? I mean, yeah. the COVID year, the, the three cup finals that they went to, he was playing every other night. And Which now is the way paying he loves a, it. He does love it. But yeah. now he's paying a price they're paying a price um, they have to find another goaltender whether it's clipping someone off waivers trading for someone I can't imagine they stay above water in maybe the deepest and most difficult division in hockey without Vasilevsky for the first two months and that's the thing that's going to be very difficult for them is the Atlantic division is so strong this year we're going to see teams take a big jump whether it's Buffalo whether it's Ottawa they're already going to pull yeah. points from you because they're good so now how do you tread water you go out and get a veteran guy maybe they had Brian Elliott last year is Yaro Halak a name that maybe fits the mold for what they they need I have a hard time believing it's going to be one of those guys that can barely get by in the NHL as it is and, and you're thinking about you got to keep up with Toronto you got to keep up with the Bruins who don't want to fall off. Like, this is going to be a very competitive division, and Andre Vasilevsky has been the backbone for that. This is a massive loss for the Tampa Bay Lightning. You're going to see teams put goaltenders and players on the waiver wire over the next couple of weeks between now and opening day in about 10 days from now. They may have been thinking, for example, the Toronto Maple Leafs, maybe we'll waive one particular individual, and now maybe you change your mind because you know there's a team out there looking for goaltenders. Well, and the Leafs are the perfect example of that. You know Tampa's got their eyes set on the Maple Leafs. We know what's happened the last couple of years. And the Leafs have plans of either getting Martin Jones through or Joseph Wall through. And I believe their plan is to get Martin Jones through. I think it would be preferable. They have drafted and cultivated Wall. He is ready to play in the NHL, but he has to go through waivers. And this is going to be a dance. And the Leafs have been clipped in the past, but trying to get guys through waivers. And they've been taken. A lot of times it's from teams like Arizona or bottom feeder teams. Talking about Harry Sateri. Harry Sateri. Harry Sateri did not get through waivers. And Martin Jones, if he's going on waivers, which, by the way, if you're the Leafs, your decision is made now. There's no possible yeah. way you could put Joseph Wall on waivers because if it's the goaltender of the future for your organization, you're not losing him to the Tampa Bay Lightning. But do you try to make a trade? That's the question right. I think the Leafs are going to be having to decide at you this gotta point. you got to watch the waiver wire before you start looking to make a Possibly, trade. Possibly. But what I'm saying is if you think you're going to lose him for, for yeah. anyway, let's say it's Martin Jones, that they believe that they're going to put on waivers and lose, is there any way you can get something for him? Well, I doubt Spencer it. Spencer Martin is on waivers today. He yeah. used to play for the Tampa Bay Lightning organization. They let him go. He's with Vancouver now. He had minutes as a backup last year when Thatcher Demko was hurt. There's going to be a lot of names. It's just how do they make it cap compliant because we know they got to get to the regular season and then put Vasilevsky on LTIR. It's very difficult. They are in a very difficult spot. Oh, their no roster, kidding. their roster is going to have to overcome what they're yeah. going to lack in goaltending for well, a long time. And here. let's be clear here. The names we're talking about, a lot of them, like veteran NHLers, like Halak, like Elliott, like Jones, those are not studs no. anymore. No. Those are backups. Those no. are depth players in the NHL. We're talking about a team that is trying to keep a cup chase alive. Yeah. None of those names are going to allow people in Tampa to sleep well, well at and night. A couple of years ago, Tampa would have been able to get by because they would have had McDonough yeah. on the back, and they would have been a little more robust back their blue line is not what it no. used to be. And, and Vasilevsky was the number one reason why they were still able to be competitive. Yeah, keep in mind, the Lightning finished 37 points behind Boston and 12 behind Toronto last year with him. And that was with a healthy Vasilevsky. And now they do not have that for at least the next two months.